Hello runners, I'm Coach Roberto and with me today is Alexis, physical therapist from Hospital for Special Surgery. So today we're going to talk about biomechanics and form. So Alexis, a lot of runners out there always wonder about form. There's a lot of talks like your form should be this way, you should take this many strides per minute. If you're tall, you should think about this. If you're short, etc. Like In short, a lot, a lot of questions about biomechanics. Can you please talk to us about it and tell us what we should look out for, what we should fix, or should we fix our biomechanics? Biomechanics plays a huge role in running. At each heel strike, there's a load of three to four times the amount of body weight. So a runner has to have good strength, control, and stability to accept the weight onto that limb and then propel off. So if there are deficits along the kinetic chain at the spine, at the hip, at the foot and ankle, their running gait is going to be altered. For example, if someone has really low arches, they're gonna overpronate when they accept the weight onto that leg, that can cause a chain of other deviations up the leg. So in terms of correcting things like that, you definitely want to correct an overpronation or an excessive deviation from the general movement pattern. That's really interesting. So for runners out there, how does that manifest itself? Like we're talking about efficiency, arm swings. How does that look like? With arm swings, some people think that, you know, you really want to get a lot of rotation at the trunk and the upper body. That actually expends a lot of energy. It's better to kind of drive the elbows down and back. That also helps to reduce tension in the shoulders, which I know a lot of runners are kind of up here. As far as cadence goes, early like beginner runners should kind of aim for like around 160 steps per minute. And then obviously if you build up your training, marathon runners are closer to, you know, 185. People ask about height and if that kind of plays into energy expenditure and just running biomechanics. Height can make a difference just because taller people, they're gonna take a larger stride so that their cadence is actually gonna be decreased compared to someone who might be a little bit shorter. That's interesting. Uh, I wonder where I fall on that. Uh, Anyway, thank you for uh, Alexis and Hospital for Special Surgery. If you have more questions or want more information, you can look up our friends, our Hospital for Special Surgery.